Holy Spirit. For heaven's sake, here's a picture of Mary Winfield. Why, that's Catherine's daughter. She's going to be married. Isn't that something? I'm just delighted. And the young man has a very fine background. Isn't that nice, Dad? Isn't that nice, Dad? Charles, isn't that nice? Uh-huh. Dad? sensitive to community change. Each of its issues reflects the thoughts, interests, and activities of the people. In DeKalb County, we have had a remarkable record of growth during the past few years. The university and industry have brought to DeKalb hundreds of new families and have influenced many physical improvements. New ideas and activities have made changes in the people, and we are now a completely different community from what we were just a few years ago. The Chronicle has faithfully recorded this daily progress towards a larger and more progressive city. Yet while doing its reporting, the Chronicle itself has experienced a tremendous change and growth in its own operation. Giles Finley was the last of the veteran reporters. Not so long ago, he and three or four others, like himself, covered the entire county of DeKalb, writing news happenings in their own personal style of journalism. They knew just about everyone in the county, and thus were quite familiar with the background of the story, and could even anticipate when it might break. Today, it is impossible to cover all the news happenings in DeKalb County with only three or four reporters. The Chronicle now has a staff of 17 full-time journalists and over 25 correspondents contributing their news and feature stories. of reporting have changed. It is nearly impossible now to find people so familiar with our community and its background that they are able to write that very personal type of new story. Community interests too have expanded and few articles or features can be written today that will appeal to all of the readers. Car 35. Car 35, go ahead. I have an accident at 6th and Prospect with injuries. Has been dispatched. 10-4. Carl, get over to Six and Prospect. There's been a bad accident. Get the story. Okay, Raleigh, I'm on my way. To meet the need for greater efficiency in news reporting to the community, electrical aids have been installed. Both the United Press and Associated Press are constantly sending all the latest national and international news over these two teletypes.
Photographs are always valuable in helping to tell the story. The Chronicle prefers to use a majority of local pictures taken by its own photographers. However, it has found this Unifax printer to be a very valuable addition, for it provides the latest news photos from all over the world. are soon turned into metal plates for printing in the newspaper by a modern and efficient engraving department. step with the growing community, the Chronicle secured more efficient and larger facilities by the purchase of a building which gave nearly three times the floor space. Today this extra space is almost completely utilized by the new equipment that has been needed and by the large number of additional employees required to publish today's Chronicle. The mechanical makeup of the newspaper requires a large amount of hand and machine work to convert the story into printable type. Automation can be used to speed the conversion of local stories into metal type by use of these tape punching machines. The greatest benefit from the tape, however, is in the two wire service machines. Each news item from both United Press and Associated Press is duplicated in punched tape. The story selected by the editor has a corresponding tape which, when fed into the line casting machine, converts the story into type. amounts of type needed to print each issue of the Chronicle, there is a constant effort to assure accuracy. Each galley of type is proofed and carefully checked against the original story. people are involved in the making of the Chronicle. Over 80 full-time and 39 part-time employees are needed to publish and deliver to the 240 newsboys each issue of the Chronicle. Over a half million dollars is paid to these people each year and in fact 85% of the total Chronicle income is spent right here in the DeKalb community. The remaining 15% required for newsprint and equipment is more than offset by the advertising income received from outside of the community. Advertising is the major source of income for newspapers, and therefore much time and thought is devoted to this important section.
these ads contain just as much newsworthy information as any other part of the paper, for they tell the always changing story of the business community. The Chronicle's advertising department has the training and ability to arrange each ad so that it will be both effective for the advertiser's purpose and yet be interesting to the reader. Advertising people are aware of these differences and always protect and expand them. By so doing, a merchant can gain a fine reputation for service, certain merchandising methods, or other specialties. Successful businessmen have long ago discovered the effectiveness of a well-planned, long-term advertising campaign. These men have found the Chronicle to be a highly effective platform for developing their image. Most will agree that advertising is not an expense, but an investment towards the future. Advertising cannot produce answers for all merchandising problems. For example, it cannot find customers for unsaleable merchandise, nor can it build an untrue image. It can, however, tell the story of a reputable merchant who is providing an excellent community service. The true test of good advertising is in the building of a constantly expanding group of satisfied customers. is in the service it performs, both to the individual reader and to the community. The reader will find in each issue many items of personal interest. of many community activities 
such as these examples are considered to have great importance by the Chronicle. Unexpected awards have been received by the Chronicle for some of these community promotional activities. This Illinois Traffic Award is an example. Also received was this Illinois Educational Award. As our community grows, it requires a constant improvement in services. The Chronicle prints a reminder list of those improvements that they believe are most needed by our community. Whenever possible, these improvements are promoted through news reporting and editorial. Many of these projects have now been completed. that youngsters often do not take the time or do not know how to read and enjoy newspapers, the Chronicle is experimenting with a program sponsored by the American Newspaper Publishers Association. Cambridge of the English department of our DeKalb High School is one who is participating in this program. The DeKalb Chronicle, in its desire to help in education, is sending teachers to the American Newspaper Publishers Workshop, held each summer for a two-week period at the University of Iowa. All expenses for this program are taken care of by the Chronicle. I personally found that this workshop provided a very valuable experience for me. The teachers attending vary in interest from kindergarten to adult education, and they come from all over the country. The two weeks are filled with worthwhile, exciting suggestions, as well as a serious analysis of more effective newspaper use in the classroom. The speakers were not only faculty from the University of Iowa, but were also newspaper men and writers. One of the challenges in education today is in using material that is up-to-date, ever-changing, and that has a relevancy, a meaning for the students. The newspaper is such a material. This year at the high school, in three junior English classes, the Chronicle is being used extensively for a variety of purposes studying come-alive verbs used in the sports pages, adjectives in advertisements, in making a survey of local, state, and national issues and topics, as well as vocabulary enrichment. The fundamental purpose is to stimulate reading with awareness and understanding. Writing assignments are used to encourage clarity, accuracy, and to stimulate imagination. The students are sometimes given writing assignments whereby a complete news story is written to fit a make-believe newspaper headline. We hope that by offering this program to the students that they will become more aware of the world about them and that they will acquire the habit of reading more effectively and with more interest. If we can accomplish this, then I'm sure we will have made these youngsters better citizens for the future. These young businessmen certainly know how to please a customer. Have you ever noticed how neat and clean these boys always appear and how carefully they deliver your paper? Each of them is trained to make every effort to give you the best possible service. enterprising young businessmen engaged in selling to you at retail prices a product that they buy from the Chronicle at wholesale.
buyers quickly learn the importance of good customer relations and how valuable their promptness and courtesy can be. Each also must learn to cooperate with the Chronicle, and even more important, each acquires training in the ability to handle money. The newsboy learns the importance of close contact with the Chronicle to avoid errors in new accounts, changes, and cancellations. Chronicle recognizes its great responsibility for the welfare of these young boys. The circulation manager is constantly meeting with small groups to help them with their problems. In addition, the Chronicle rewards good business practices, new accounts, and freedom from complaints with prizes and awards. Honor carrier recognition is obtained by length of service and continued improvement in the business management of his route. New jackets and U.S. savings bonds are additional awards to honor carriers. The pressmen now hurry to install the last few plates onto the cylinders so that the presses can again roll and print another one of the thousands of issues of the Chronicle. This new issue will continue the daily story of our community and will have something of interest for every one of us. It will be a public notice of the many community activities, a news source, a place to express an opinion or to read one. It may tell about a neighbor or a friend or about a place far away. It will be a sales bulletin for the merchant and a buying guide for the housewife and certainly a means for the training of a young businessman. A newspaper can be many things to many people, but most important, it is a moving and continuing story of our community. <laughs>